Hello, my name is Bumi from Organized Messes, and uh, I'm an artist. Um, the kind of artist I am, I think, is more of a writer, sometimes a painter. I, I've been painting and drawing most of my life, and uh, I don't know if I discovered it. I remember when I was little, I used to carry a notebook or a drawing pad with me all the time. I used to jot in it little notes and scribbles. And I remember people used to praise me for how realistically I drew things. I guess that kind of shaped me in my direction to just own being an artist. Mm, my favorite media is acrylic paint and I really like writing poetry and short stories. I love Georgia O'Keeffe and uh, FSC. She's an illustrator. Not really well known, but I really admire her work. You can really see the emotion she puts into it. Um, when I'm creating, I kind of just get inspired when I see people on the street or hear conversations and then it kind of just clicks in my head while I'm walking throughout the day I'll just kind of recall things that people did or said and then there's this underlying human element to it and I want to write about it and so I'll go rushing home and then write non-stop and um, that's kind of how I edit too I'll just sit in one time and just write I sometimes go back to fix it, but I know that my style right now is more um, to create in one sitting. Um, when I'm painting, I usually dream of the paintings that I'm going to create. I have synesthesia, the aura type, and so I feel and see colors for different subjective traits of people and so when I'm dreaming and it's getting kind of lucid I'll wake up smiling because I, I just thought of an awesome painting that I'd really want to make. Um, art to me means I guess it means authenticity to me it also means healing I think that art is very powerful and it, it is something that kind of connects all of us across language. It, it depicts primal human emotions and, and basic human emotions that connect us and we don't really need the words. You know, we all experience things differently, but something about art, something about the experience of art connects us and we don't really need language to explain that connection. So I think that's what art means to me. Um, biases or stigmas? Yes, I think there are huge biases and stigmas about being an artist. I am in the field of psychology and, you know, it, 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 I don't know how I feel about the stigma of artists having a high correlation with having bipolar. I don't really know what it means to have that stigma of being labeled as bipolar. I mean, just having the labels and the stigmas of being strange and weird and not normal, it, it makes you feel like sometimes you're being pushed away, but also maybe mystified too because you're unique and different. Yet people sometimes feel like I can never try something artistic because I don't want to be weird or labeled that way either. But I know personally how healing creativity can be and how it just bypasses the use of language for people to heal. So I think the stigma does stop people from pursuing something that can be so beneficial to their lives. Some stigmas or biases that I've experienced. Um, people call me weird a lot, all the time. I mean, it's it's just 
normal now. You know, sometimes I question what it feels like to be on the other side because I don't really understand what it feels like to be normal. And so I sometimes wonder what it feels like to fit in. I, I'm really curious about how it is on the other side. And I think there are some truths to being an artist. I think to pursue this lifestyle, it can be very painful because of the incredible weight society has on the typical path to success or happiness. And so every now and then there's going to be that self-doubt. I mean, artists are their worst critics, but to constantly hear critics until you make it, until you're famous, it's a difficult life to have. Tricks of the trade? Well, I'm choosing writing right now as my medium of choice, and my trick of the trade is to read nonstop, to read the classics, to read who inspires you, to read the style that you think fits you the most, and then try to write in those artist styles too. I, I love Z David Sedaris and then incorporating humor into my writing sometimes and so I read I think almost every book that he's written and I, I can write like him and it makes me happy to make people laugh but I know that it's not the style that identifies me or it's going to be my style so I'm still looking and I've read On Writing by Stephen King, it's amazing. I like his voice and I've listened to it on Audible. So um, I think those are my recommendations right now for writers who kind of want to find their style or their voice in writing. If I could give my young artist self advice, it would be to seek other artists. I think for me, I wanted to be something else that I wasn't when I was younger. I wanted to be successful in computer programming and I think with my personality it's not a good fit but I try to make other people happy so my advice would be to follow your passion because that will lead to your happiness and the happiness of others because when people see that you're happy they're less worried and they will be happy for you and so it's just an endless cycle to pursue happiness and follow your heart but it's really hard to do in the beginning if you're surrounded by people who do not understand so art collectives help um, looking for artists online helps to inspire your creativity to find what's out there and continually learn about the different types of art out there and that's it for questions um, I don't know I might edit it later but sounds pretty good so far and uh, I hope if you're an artist or a geek or a gamer that you'll help out the community for creativity and post your own response about what it means to be creative and your personal experiences with it. Thank you very much.